Um, I would like to share with you more about the magic of the number nine. So even though I'm going to focus on the number nine, because nine is that which underpins all of creation, all our mathematical research is based on the number nine. So we're going to start off with the four times table. Um, because of this coronavirus issue, everyone's at home and we're focusing on our home, on our garden and the number that reflects this ability to just fix up the home and stabilize is called the, is the number four. Number four is about structure and focus and um, crystallization, having ideas. Sometimes we have lots of ideas, they don't settle down. So four, focusing on the number four will help us build. It's the builder. So I would like to, we all know the four times table from school. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and it goes on. And as you know, that's an infinite sequence. It goes on, we say, forever. So we, we can say it goes on forever. And like, say we want to get to number 20. We know that 20 is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And that gets really boring. So even though this is addition, we've, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, lots of 4. So we go... 5 times 4 equals 20. So we introduced this x called multiplication to simplify addition. So addition is really, or multiplication is another form of addition. So we're going to look at the 4 times table. It's, it's multiple addition. But we, we, we want to find what we call symmetry or repeatability. So to do that, we're going to keep subtract, subtracting the number nine. We're going to plug all of these numbers into what we call the nine point circle, which is kind of saying, we know that four is a four, it remains, and eight is an eight. But if I was to pick up the number 12 and plot it onto the nine point circle, you'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So what we're saying is that how did the 12 in base 10 become a three in, in the base nine. So we say that 12 equals three mod nine. And mod nine, mod nine just means clock mathematics. So instead of a clock of 12, we all know the 12 hours, we could have a clock of seven numbers or eight numbers. But here we've got the clock of nine because nine is that which will open up the symmetry and show us um, the order amongst the chaos. So. So I've spent my whole life, the last 30, 40 years, is examining the number nine. It's really the foundation. It's like the number four. It's a foundational number. So 12 becomes a three. And 16 is, um, so we go all the way to nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 becomes a seven. So and here when we take away nine from 20, 20 from 9 is what, um, 11, and take away another 9 is 2. And you're, so 20 becomes a 2, but did you notice that 2 plus 0 equals 2? And for 16, 1 plus 6 is 7. So the shortcut to save us counting all on the wheel is to go for 24 is we add the digits. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 8 is 10, but 10 is 1 plus 0 is a 1. That was a tricky one there. And 32 is a 5. And as we look at our data, we still haven't found anything along here that repeats. So let's keep going. 36, we've got 36 here, which is a 9. 40 is a 4. And 44 is an 8. So let's look closely. Is there anything repeating? No, 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 no. Oh, over here, 4 and 8 is also the beginning sequence, 4 and 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these nine numbers we assume repeat forever. So if I picked up these four numbers and put it over here, we assume that it'll just keep repeating forever and ever. And because it's nine numbers, we say um, it has a periodicity, a periodicity of nine. So P equals nine in this sense here, P equals nine. Um, and that often comes up a lot. So let's plug this into the nine point circle. Um, I'm gonna start off with the four. So we go one, two, three, four, there's the four, and I'm going to join four to eight. So four to eight is over here. So let me draw a long line. What we're looking for is a circuit. If you visualize each one of these lines as like if this was a copper circuit, this is the electricity flowing from four to eight to three to seven. So to three is over here. 
So there's three. And seven is diametrically opposite there. You'll notice as, as we draw all these lines, they're actually going right across the circle. Four, three, seven, two, six, one. So two is right across. So there's the two. There's the seven going to the two. And then we're going from two to six, which is, you can predict that the six has to be opposite there. And it's starting to make a little pattern. It's not that obvious, but you can see that there's some kind of symmetry going on. If I go from six to one, and I can see there is, there's, all the lines are going right across. Not literally, there's the center. They're not actually going through the center, but just off-centered. So we go six, one, we've still got five and nine. Yep, so it is a vein a diametric pattern. Five, and the last one, I assume it goes right through from five, from five to nine. And you would think by the time I've drawn that, that that's the completion. But if this was a copper circuit, um, this is the pathway that makes a beautiful star called the Inia, Inia Gram. Inia means nine, it's a nine-pointed star. Gram means something which is written down or recorded. And some people think it means the word star. But the Latin word, so that's in the Greek, but the, the Latin word was called nona. Nona, nonagram. So they're the same words in the Old English. Nona also represented number nine. But as I look at that, the electricity that's flowing through here seems to stop there. So, so the next number after nine, so even though this was our period of nine, it starts again. So the nine has to go back to the four where we started from. So I'm going to close the circuit. And that means the energy or the electricity will actually flow forever in harmony. So this could be a great idea for a, um, a circuit board or something of interest like that, that we can apply uh, in our technology. Um, okay, just want to show you one more quick thing. If we were to do the um, five times table, if we were to do the five times table, if I start from five and I went this way, five, ten becomes a one, and 15 is a 6, and the next number is 20, becomes a 2, and 25 becomes a 7, and 30 becomes a 3, and you could actually see that the 5 times table is the reverse of the 4 times table. So there's so much information, we, we start recognising that 4 and 5 are doing counter-rotating fields, and four and five comes back to nine. So that's why the Enneagram is such an amazing symbol for consciousness because it embraces holistically everything that we know.